Welcome to the Not Right News for January 20th, 2012. This is the show where I talk about things in the news that are just not right. This week, uh, FBI files were uncovered connecting gangster rap group Wu-Tang Clan with gun running and murder. Yes, the former, now deceased leader, Old Dirty Bastard was named. Hmm. Old Dirty Bastard. Who would have thought a guy like that would cause trouble? Really? Come on. <laughs> He's a suspect? <clears throat> now, next funny criminal, Johnny Pimentel, age 40, is now in custody in Peru. He's wanted in Virginia for slashing the buttocks of women with razors or box knives. <laughs> yes, he's known as the butt slasher, <laughs> and he's awaiting extradition from Peru to Virginia to stay in trial. And I'm quite certain the Virginia State prisoners would like to give him a butt slashing of their own. In other news this week, South Africa's most dangerous beach claimed another life. An unnamed 25-year-old man died in a shark attack at the world's most dangerous beach. It is the sixth one in just as many years that have claimed lives. Now, my question is, why would you go to that beach? It's called the world's most dangerous beach for a reason. There's nice beaches in Florida, California, Hawaii, the Azores, Bali, Tonga, there's great places to go. Why do you go to the world's most dangerous beach? Did you get that on Priceline? Did the Priceline negotiator get you a deal on that trip to that beach? Was it worth it? That's my question. We'll never know the answer because he's dead. <laughs> Next is Silicon Valley computer specialist Trent Arsenal claims himself to be the 36-year-old virgin who has fathered 14 children through sperm donation. And around the world, geek cried. Right everywhere. My suggestion to Mr. Arsenal would be log off. Put on a clean shirt, go out in the world, and meet the real thing. Trust me. You'll love it. <laughs> Try it. You really will love it. And the next guy in the news, I'm sure you've all heard about it. He made it to TD. Nope, that's not a touchdown. He's a turbo douche. That's right. I'm sure everybody's heard. I'm, I'm not breaking this news. Francesco Settino crashed a cruise ship. This guy is an idiot, okay? First, the story's going on around him. He was drinking at a bar. He came too close to the island to wave to friends when only the maitre d' on the ship was the one who had friends on the island or family on the island. He tripped and fell into the lifeboat. Argued with the Coast Guard, they had, they had ordered him back on the ship to do his job as captain. The captain is supposed to go down with the ship, you know what I'm saying? And at first they were comparing this tragedy to the Titanic. Well, no, it's not like the Titanic at all. First of all, that captain went down with his ship. He did what he, he followed the maritime law and stayed there. The Titanic, they lost two-thirds of their people, like 705 survivors out of 2,280-something ish people they lost two-thirds of them so far and I'm not saying that it's any less because they only lost like I think 19 at the last count but there's still plenty missing probably gonna be somewhere around the 30s or 40 totally lost lives from this out of 4200 so it's not near the tragedy level that the Titanic was um, there was no icebergs in the Mediterranean Sea it wasn't ice water that the people were in they were close to a yard uh, an island to swim to but this guy is an idiot just because he, he, he crashed the boat. He took it three miles off course and crashed it. Put all those people at risk. And then doesn't want to be held accountable. So he made it to my award for Turbo Douche. <laughs> I don't give that out very often. This fact, is the first one I've given out. But this guy, he gets it. He had to get it. <laughs> Jackass. Anyways, the last, my closing story... And this story and all the other stories, you'll find links to the story where I, a copy where I got the story from in the description down below, okay? The next one is JP, it's about JP Moreau. He's a Brazilian race car driver, 20 year old Brazilian race car driver. Excellent driving skills, knows how to drive. Drinking and driving, hit a pedestrian, going 60 and a 30, hit a pedestrian and killed him. He's now facing DUI. Homicide or DUI manslaughter, vehicular homicide, possession of cocaine, and altering his Brazilian ID to show he was the age of 21. So, see, this is this is a point I'm making. It doesn't matter what kind of driving skills you have. When you add into it drugs and alcohol, 
the skills go through the floor. It's not good, people. So, don't drink and drive. Again, I say it. Don't drink and drive. This guy is proof. But that's the news for today. I want everyone to have a good week. I will be back next week with more goofy news. Because it's, I don't talk about it doesn't mean it's not news. But if I do talk about it, something just ain't right. <laughs> have a good week.